Hello everyone, hope everything is fine and everyone is safe and good. I know I was absent for a while, but here I am. For our tutorial of today, I'm gonna talk about a new feature in Corona Renderer. At least for me, I discovered recently, and it's called Corona Scanned Material. Now, let's start at the very beginning. Just what are the Corona Scanned Material? or let's say the chaos scans. Well, the scanned materials are photoreal materials which chaos group or the company of Corona have scanned from an actual physical sample of the material. They capture all the required material properties from textures to reflection, strength, and even the unique way the material reacts to lighting. You know all that then gets processed into a single VR scans file that you can load into your Corona scan material. It gives you an easy way to add high quality materials to your scene that you don't have time to create from scratch or which might be impossible to accurately recreate any other way really. They are super easy to use because you basically just plug them into your scene and that's really all you have to do. So then all this talk about how easy scans are to use so how do you use them let's start okay first of all i have this light studio that we are all familiar with from the previous tutorials i put here an armature that we will work on it uh, and I set my camera into like front and close-up just like this and this what we have for now so now we will go to material editor and from here easily we will select corona scan material it's weird how I didn't notice this option before so I'll select this and I will have this option. So simply we have this option from here to download the Chaos scans. So I'll just click here. And I will go to the Chaos scans from the internet. But to have this feature you have to sign in as a paid account. But don't worry, I will put in the description box about two or three materials that you can use for free without having the paid version of Corona. Okay, for now, you can choose the material type you want from here. For example, I will choose wood and I will have these options of wood. I will go for leather, for example, and I will have these options for leather. For example, I will enlarge this material and you can see the details and the reflection glossiness of the material we have here you have the small description of it i'll go back or you can filter it by the color or by the tags for example you want it you want the glossy materials you want the silk you want the copper etc okay for now easily i will go for example for this I chose leather, I will go to here and I will download this file. Okay, and after we have our file ready, I will go and extract it here and I will have these two files. And you can see from here this file, the type of this file is VR scan. So simply I will go back to 3D Max and I will load from file and I will choose the material that I just downloaded and just like this done I have the material that I want you can see here the material and you can notice that I don't have any other maps I can add to this material I can't add a bump I can't add a reflective uh, texture the only thing that we can do is to change the values of the strings for, exa for example the glossiness and for sure to change the tiling size 
to make it bigger or smaller and we will talk about, uh, later for the appearance section so for now I will go here and open the group and I will ask and I will assign the material to here so I will test render oops we assign it to all okay let's keep it for now I'm okay with this okay I will zoom in a little bit let's go here I will select the camera and I will zoom in for example and easily you can notice the details we have without importing any value for the bump or any texture as well you can see here the details we have just by selecting the material from the scans website just like this let me go back okay I will go back for the material editor and I will duplicate this material here and let's say I will name it what color we will make let's say a gray color okay from here I will check the paint color and as you can notice now the color is white so I will stop here this select this and assign the white material to it I will start my interactive again and you can notice that I have the same material as a white color for now but I want I want it as a gray a little bit so let's make it gray from here maybe more no less okay and from here you can play with the saturation you can increase or decrease the gamma as you want from here okay I will assign this material to here as well I will remove the fast preview so we can see a better result for the test render and just by like two steps we have this result so let me zoom in a little bit you can see here the details you can see here as well the bump and the texture without adding any UVW uh, modifier without changing anything but as speaking of changing the UVW let's go here and change for example the padding into 2x2 two two. I think it will yeah it will become smaller and maybe it's better for here the result is much better uh, for here I'm fine with it so I will keep it like this meanwhile I will go back to the website and maybe select a metal uh, material for example let's go here you can see the details from here mm, okay I will go with this as a test or maybe not <laughs> uh, let's, try, let's try this yeah this seems nice okay I will go with this I will download it I will extract again the material, the metal for here and we can see the V-ray scan I will go to Activities Max same steps I will repeat it I will go to Corona Scan Material Load from File and I will choose this from here I will pick the metal and I will simply assign it and you can see the result we have here and from here I will change the saturation a little bit so let's say I will go for minus 0 
and now I have a better result and better color for it it works from the first try maybe to do the same for the orange leather we have here I will go to my 0 0.30 no it's a little a lot I will go 15 0.1 maybe it's enough and I will try to zoom in for this area and to, to see the details more okay let's see what we will have now honestly this option is a time saver and as you can see we had a, let's say a great result just by how much we worked on it two or three minutes and just by downloading our uh, the material that we want and loading it into the corona scan material and we had this i'm not saying this option have all materials you want in the world but at least it will help you uh, save time and get a realistic result especially if you are making a close-up renders so as i mentioned before i will leave for you like two or three materials you can use them for free to try this result and and i would be more than happy if you tried it and just tag me on social media on instagram and that's all for today thank you for watching and see you next time